right, here we are with Dane Reynolds, the Dumpster Diver 2. Um, before we get into the Dumpster Diver 2, Dane, do you want to tell us about the, dumpster, the, the original Dumpster Diver? Um, the thought process behind that before you got into this one. So the original Dumpster Diver came from riding a short, fat board on a trip and really liking it, which eventually became the neck beard, <laughs> which is weird. But I came home from the trip and the waves were going to be small at lowers. And back then it was like, there was this like, I don't know if it was a rumor for real, but that judges wouldn't give you scores if you were on like a fishy board. Mm. So we basically placed a short board nose on the back end. The back end was a fish, the front end was a short board. And when I did the Out of the Rafters video last year, I was just blown away that I actually rode that thing in contests. And because um, it was just so short, even just paddling was like, was like, I felt like I was on a skim board. And I'm guessing that people were ordering them longer for themselves and that's why they, mm. they didn't have that similar problem. And maybe even after that, I was riding them longer. But um, whatever it was, the original dumpster diver felt really small. So I had the idea of ordering a dumpster diver two inches longer and redoing, retemplating the nose so that it wasn't a full shortboard nose. Uh, so it's a little bit more modernized in the nose. And, um, and I really liked it, but I just had this idea of kind of like reworking this curve here. The whole idea was basically to use the rocker template, the rocker profile of a board that was like kind of magic for a lot of people and uh, kind of rework it to be more modern. You're always trying to get the rocker and the curve back here to work together. And I felt with this like lower, it has a pretty low curve through here. And I felt that a breaking point would really loosen it up. Just with that extra length, um, you have a longer, straighter line. And yeah, I've been really liking it. It feels to me like kind of a step up from the neck beard and what I would ride waves in. It has like a little bit more range than a neck beard. Mm. And I've been really liking it in uh, California conditions. Perfect. So a bit of a, you know, a board that you keep in your car for most conditions every day. Yeah, it's just like, I just feel like it has a little bit more range in the size of waves that it handles comparatively to a neck beard. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about these fins. So this is a new shape and design that you've been working on for specifically this board. Mm -hmm. um, tell us how you got here and why this construction as well. Um, I really like fiberglass fins. I just think they look classic and uh, just like timeless. Yeah. Um, and I really like the transparency of it. And um, the front fins are the AM2 template and the back fin I found with this specific design. And I mean, it all just has to work together. I feel mm. with the hips and the rocker through the, through the tail end that this really kind of a bit, quite a bit smaller and more upright back fin. Um, really works with the, the, um, the hips to just kind of loosen it up. Like it almost has a little bit of a like two plus one feel, cause I, which I really like when twins with a little mini trailer, it just has like a little bit of that more free feeling mm. on rail. Yeah. So yeah, if you can just break down um, spine tech and, and yep. the reason why we're doing this model with the white spine tech. Um, so I've been riding spine tech. It's been like the go-to build for me and like my small wave equipment for California for the past five years or so. And one day I was in here and I, for some reason popped into my head, can you do a different color spine tech? And they're like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, never seen it. And I was like, oh, I want white. That would be insane. Just cause like, it just looks so cool. Just all white, no stringer, no, no, uh, visual I mean it's it's actually cool that it's kind of tonal mm. but um it just looks really cool like really sleek. never seen anything like it really mm. I guess like the varials kind of but <laughs> but it looks really cool yeah it's all a visual thing it rides exactly like uh, the black spine techs the spine tech build is really light and um, I feel like it's just really springy, has like a liveliness than in my small wave equipment that I don't 
get out of a string or even in a string or an epoxy. I feel like it just has this like spring loaded effect. Yeah, that's right. my favorite short board right now. Beautiful. Um, Perfect. That's it. Yeah, we good? Wrap. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dane. Easy Good job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>